What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joe Bunn. If you're not already a subscriber, I hope this video will push you over the edge. We put out brand new videos every Thursday. I know you guys have been beat over the head with Crate Hackers ads over the past year and a half, but it's evolved so much that I really wanted to give you an insight look on how I personally use it. The crates are a bonus to me. What I really use it for is a time saver when I'm prepping for my events. So I'm gonna do a screen record on my personal DJ laptop right here and give you the sequence that I use in order to save myself an immense amount of time as I'm prepping for weddings. Before we even get started, I wanna remind you guys again, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, leave a comment, and I always respond to those comments personally. It's not some bot, it's me. So let's get into it. As you can see, I am already on DJ Event Planner. I'm on an old wedding I did on October 1st. I'm gonna go to the planning tab up here first. I'm gonna go to their music, and then I'm gonna go to edit music. They only pick nine songs for this. Next, I'm going to just highlight these songs like this and I'm just gonna copy. Next thing I'm gonna do is go over to Google Sheets. And I'm already logged in there. I'm gonna hit plus to start a new spreadsheet. And then I'm not just gonna go paste off the shortcut. I'm gonna go edit paste and match style. So edit, paste and match style. Then all I really want is the song title and the artist. Again, I'm gonna do a copy there. Open up my Crate Hackers app. Click here to sign in, it signs me in. And then I go over here to apps or even they've added it up here now. So I'll go to text import is what we call this. This was Lauren's wedding. I go to paste data. It's a tab delimited because there is no comma. And it was title and artist. So you got to make sure you got that right. And then boom, I paste it in. Generate crate. Check this out, guys. This is literally now telling me, again, after I've scanned my library, which you do right over here, and I could have shown that from the beginning, but basically my files have been scanned that are on this computer. It's at 11,797. It is now pairing up her playlist with the files that live on this computer. So ain't no mountain high enough. Got it. In fact, I've got a redrum and the original. I'm gonna pick the original. Beyonce, Crazy in Love, already own it. Done. Garth Brooks, Friends in Low Places, got it. Louis Fonzi, Despacito, Got it. Mark Ronson, Bruno Mars, Uptown Funk. Got it. Natalie Cole, Everlasting Love. Got it. Sweet Caroline. Got it. I want Scooter's version, so I'll check that one. I want to dance with somebody who loves me, the OG. Actually, I like this one that my guy made for me. And then how will I know? Whitney. Let's use the Digital Dave one for this. So I've got all the songs already, I already had them. Now, if I didn't, I could have gone to any of the record pools I'm a member of. I just hit the drop down and searched the record pools. I could have gone to the streaming sites and found it. I could have purchased it from any of these sites, but I had all these songs, right? So now I go up here to the top right, export to Serato Crate. Your crate has been created. You need to restart Serato to see your new crate. Okay, let's close that out. Let's start up Serato and look for our treat. Now, again, imagine that this had been 50 songs, 60 songs, how much time it would have saved me. There was only nine here. Sure, I could have dragged together a crate real quick. What do we have at the very top there? Lauren's Wedding. Boom, there's all the songs nailed. Let's see, make sure they got all nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Done. So that is one of the ways that I save so much time if they did their planning through the portal on DJ Event Planner. Now, what I've really been asking for lately, because Spotify is so huge with probably billions of users now, is I would 
almost prefer now a Spotify link. Why? Because that also works with Crate Hackers as well. Let's check it out that way. So now I'm gonna go to the winning I did just last weekend and I'm gonna go to planning and let's go to their Bundy J Company event planner and just hit print selected and we can scroll down because I distinctly remember they put, there's one Christmas music playlist that they had at the cocktail hour and then somewhere else in the notes, right, is their dance list. So all I'm gonna do is highlight that Spotify link I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go back to my Crate Hackers app, back to the apps tab on the side. I'm gonna go to the Spotify import function. I'm gonna hit that link, paste it in, hit go, and what do you know? There they are. So Eric Benet, the last time, already have it. It's checked. Cardi B, up. This one is not correctly tagged. So I don't think I have that song. So I'll show you what to do in a second. Lotto, Big Energy, I've got that. Industry Baby, Lil Nas, Lizzo and Cardi B. Uh, or no, Cardi B Money, let's see. That one's not owned. What's Poppin', Harlow, Joel Corey, Head and Heart, Dua Lipa, Levitating, uh, this, uh, yeah, I wanna use that edit. Uh, Say So, that edit. Body, Loud Luxury, Rain On Me, Lady Gaga. First man, blah, blah, blah. So looks like I'm only missing, I think they actually spelled the artist wrong on that one. Tap in, Galantis, uh, missing a couple. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, let's just find one that I was missing. So Cardi B money. So I'll go to the pools thing down here it looks like heavy hits because it's got the parentheses. Uh, Crate Gang and Late Night Record Pool have the most versions of that probably. So let's try heavy hits. They get about a million version it looks like. I'm just gonna click one of the ones that's not a remix. Boom, look at all these versions of it I can get there. I'll take this one right here. I'm logged in, by the way. I was logged in earlier. I hit downloads. I want the clean version. It goes to my downloads, and it's now in my downloads, okay? So there were a few other songs missing, right? We saw that. But I'm going to go ahead and export this to the Serato crate. Your crate's been created. Again, I click OK. Now I'm going to open Serato, and we're going to see Timothy and Sarah's wedding. And any of those songs that I had downloaded from the record pools or wherever, I'm just gonna add. So there's Timothy and Sarah's Weddings. There are 17 songs there already. If I minimize this and go to my downloads folder, there's Cardi B Money. I simply just drag that into there. So again, tons of time saved. I mean, otherwise I would be going to, you know, boom, hit this, new crate, Sarah and Timothy, whatever, open dance, and then I'd go to all, and then I just have to start typing songs, whatever, sign, sealed, I go down, I take it, drag it, you know, it's just, okay, I need money, Cardi B, there it is, drag it, like, it just becomes a bit of a pain, especially if they've got these big song lists, so, Crate Hackers, not only is it good for, you know, going through these different crates, the crates work the same way, just while we're talking about it, like say that I want uh, this Yacht Rock crate, you know, smooth Yacht Rock. I load it, I've already scanned my library, it stays scanned basically, she's gone, I have. I don't have this Jackson Brown song, George Benson song, ooh, I don't have a lot of these. So if I wanted to make a Yacht Rock crate, I got some download to do, I got Summer Breeze, Got a remix of that. Uh, sometimes it didn't, you know, doesn't do your matches. So double check your your little click marks. Little River Brand Band. I thought I had that. So a lot of these I don't have because, quite frankly, I don't play yacht rock a lot. But you see what my point is. Crate Hackers is the bomb. 
It is open now, crayhackers.com. Get in there. I promise you, it is such a time saver. You're gonna love it if you're a professional working DJ. And um, I'm not just saying that because I'm a part of it. I really do use it all the time. Let's keep it rocking, man. Thanks for watching. New video next week. Peace. So bad.